This summer, Columbia Pictures will take you back, way back, to the year one. Hi, Ema. Hi, Ema. Yeah, she doesn't even know I exist. There's like 60 people in the village. I mean, you really have to go out of your way to not know that somebody exists. Drag her back to your hut. What if she struggles? Give her a little uh, tap on the head. Ow! Women respond to that. I love you guys, and I would go back to year one with you guys in a second. What is a famous biblical moment that you would want to step back and say, hey, that's pretty cool, because everyone kind of took things with ease back then. Nothing really shocked them. I think I would be like the one guy that was like, hey, is no one else seeing this? A famous biblical moment that yeah. I would I would say, whoa, check that out? Yeah. Well, we're going to talk Old Testament. All right, let's go. Let's go Old Testament. I'd say uh, when uh, Moses... Um, Separates the ocean with mm -hmm. his with his uh, magic stick. Yeah, okay. yeah. Because because everyone just kind of they just walked on through and. Didn't I get... mean that's a highlight. Right. That's a greatest hit. Yeah. You you would think that someone would just kind of look up and be like, Hey, is no one else seeing this? Basically, anytime Moses did anything, it was like, Whoa. I like it. This dude's a badass. Well, I think that there were people there saying. Isn't this crazy? But mm -hmm. they just didn't write about those people because they weren't the interesting part. That's true. The interesting part was the water being part of it. They were the dudes writing. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, can you believe it? Whoa. Let me get this done. We got yeah. to... And plus, you know, in the Bible, it would sound weird if, you know, and, and B said, holy crap. Yeah. yeah. So. And Luke said, my mind is being blown. <laughs> That's the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. It's got sort of a knowledge you taste. Yeah, does it have a sort of forbidden taste? Because that's what it is. You're cursed, man. You better get out of here. I'm going. I'm going to start a new tribe. It's going to be 10 times better. It's going to be called Muscle Tribe of Danger and Excellence. So who's with me? Oh, a shooting star. That's the best. We're good. Fine. Bye. If this junket were in year one, what kind of changes do you think would be made? I mean, it, it, you know, people would be carving. You know, we wouldn't have four minutes. I'm thinking we'd have like four days to do the mm -hmm. junket. So what, what kind of changes do you think? Uh, this chair would be less comfortable. Um, <laughs> I would be in mostly natural, uh, you know, garments made of, uh, there wouldn't be any polyester or anything mm. like that. Um, I wouldn't have to take my Zoloft at 11 <laughs> o'clock. Um, you know, there'd be... If you, if you need your glasses, you might not be able to see me. So you No, I not... wouldn't be able to see you. So you'd so... probably be looking over there. Yeah, but there's no camera. That's right? true. So a, it wouldn't there's, matter. There's just a there's a scribe, right. and then a scribe describing <laughs> what the scribe is scribing. <laughs> you coming? Yeah. Woohoo! This is a great opportunity for us. My brother, Kane. I'm called Abel. You are called Suck. Oh, boys, really? boys, oh, we're really? brothers. Oh. Yeah. That's how we do it. No, That's no. how we do it. Now, I think we both know that Arrested Development was the funniest show in the history of television. What can happen with the movie? What, what What's going on right now? What can you tell me? All I can tell you is what I know, which is... I won't tell anyone else. Just, this is just between <laughs> yeah, us. Don't okay, worry. Okay. Um, well, let me speak to the camera then. Uh, <laughs> uh, seriously, uh, everybody wants to do it. Everybody's on board to do it. Uh, I believe the script has been ordered, and Mitch is working on the script, and they're just trying to work out the deals, and then everybody wants to do it. Mm -hmm. We're all excited about it. It's Ema! Now we just have to figure out a way to rescue her. These guys are killers. We have an incredible destiny. Get online. Now. I'd like to see how big you are without that whip. Same basic size. Sit tight, Mama. Daddy's got to fight. He's hurt. And pull. Uh, I never got a sword. I only got the holder. I didn't know that that's what it was for. What is the art of a PG-13 orgy scene? Because, cause, you know, is there like sensual, you know, you have to look very sensually, you know, you kind of deep into someone's I'm eyes? I'm glad you asked that question because I have a very specific answer for you. Let's go. Bring it. Uh, it's all in the pumping. <laughs> <laughs> if you'll notice, there's no pumping. No pumping. That changes everything. Uh, yeah, Stanley right. Kubrick yeah. ran up against the same dilemma when he made his, m m what was his last movie? Yeah, made? Eyes, Eyes Wide Shut. Shut, yeah. Eyes Wide Shut, they have an orgy scene. Zero of this. Nice. Really? Can we do this on your interview, though? We can do whatever you want to do. None Go of this. crazy. You can do this, though. You can. But, <laughs> but without the pumping, this no, is almost just, meaningless. It's just right. boring. Right. Yeah. Now, I'm thinking... You look angry. The prisoners shall be stoned to death! Right! Let us choose who gets to stone us. That guy! This is a kid. So, you got something against kids? This guy hates kids. No, I don't. No, I don't. That kid's got an arm. Oh, God, there's two of us. 
Player One. I need to go be a slave now. Maybe we should do something. When, when do you get off? Never. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, I'm going to strike a pose, I guess. Bye, 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 baby.